What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? What's up, Divas? Devo. I know, you know what? This is going to be the last time that I do this introduction. I'm not doing this no more. I'm over it. And I'm saying this because, listen, I'm, I'm about to just change the whole shirt and just not wear this red shirt. You know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. I can't be doing I'm not going back and forth with this camera. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Okay, so I just went to basic black. This is what it is for this video. I just really wanted to wear a different color, but I see like, you know what, with the camera settings and so forth, it don't never work out the way you want it to, but straight up. That's why I don't wear like certain colors on camera. I don't even like to wear red or pink. I definitely don't do blue, sometimes green, but basically I do like a lot of basic colors or to be like something colorful that I kind of like help as well. It just help with the color the way it's picking up on camera. So I hope this is good. If not, then I'm definitely going to have to, you know, correct it in the after effect, but. Uh. I really wanted today to go smooth and easy. I wanted to start my videos really early, but I was so tired. I didn't get a chance to get out the bed until 9.07. Now, normally that is super late for me, I'll be wanting to be out the bed like by 8 o'clock, 7.30, and this is on the weekend. So, you know, my day is kind of like shot. But we just want to still roll with this. We're going to get into this because this is like a really good wig company, which is Wild African. I've worked with them several times, y'all, like several times. And this time around, I didn't do anything. Like, I didn't even get prepared for this video, meaning I don't even have my little rubber grip thing or anything. And you know what? I'm not getting back up no more. I'm just going to wing it, and it is what it is. So with that being said, let's just jump into this video, y'all. Because I think, like, I did my intro, like, five times. Mess with the settings. I'm over it. Let's just get into this video, okay? Best not to think about you. But you stuck in my mind. I've been hypnotized by you. Hey, all the suffering and pain got me feeling so blue. Because when it was us, I was never in love. Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up. Pushing me down instead of pulling me up So tell me what I'm supposed to do just to be alright Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up, messed up I've been worrying about my mental health Cause when I'm alone I keep checking my phone Seeing all these people Having someone to lean on While I don't Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up Pushing me down instead of pulling me up so tell me what I'm supposed to do just to be alright Girl, you got me thinking I was messed up, messed up was messed up pushing me down instead of pulling me up so tell me what i'm supposed to do just to be all right girl you got me thinking i was messed up messed up yeah. I 
All right, you guys. So y'all know the routine. I got my Beats head pieces in, ear pieces in, so that I could watch my show. But I'm going to be using this wax stick that I had for quite some time. I just got it at the beauty supply store. There are wax sticks available on wowafrican.com. Unfortunately, I didn't have mines on hand, but I just decided to use this one. I really actually couldn't find it, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and part it, and I'm going to use my hot comb on the highest temp, which is on the dial of 20. This hot comb is amazing. You can get it from Walmart, maybe still. But you can definitely get it from Amazon. You know Amazon Prime. They always send you your stuff on time, girl. But the hairline is a clean hairline, and I'm absolutely loving this hairline. I didn't have to pluck it. I didn't have to bleach this. It came lightly bleached, which is amazing. So if you know nothing about plucking a hairline, then you can go ahead and get this one here. Nice, clean hairline, and it's lightly bleached, which is a good thing. The knots are not visible like that. You don't have to do anything but just take it out of the box and throw it on. Make sure you cut the lace before you go outside though. So you do have to do a couple of things. Favorite candy in the world, high chew candy break, okay? So excuse me for chewing on camera. So y'all know what I do on the norm, which is go ahead and make sure that the wig is fitting properly, especially over the ear tabs. That's a number one. So as you see, I parted it over the ear tabs right there. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take my thread snips, which are just basically scissors you can get these from Amazon and I'm just going to cut onto that part this is going to allow the wig to sit as flat as possible to my own natural hairline and also it's going to be comfortable and I'm going to repeat that on the opposite side as you see right here Now this lace is a really good lace and it's very transparent which is great um, this is the film lace which gives you a lot better chance of not being noticed as a wig wearer which I do like you can always tell good lace I think because it's kind of like frayed at the bottom you can tell it's thinner and it's a lot less visible and I've noticed that when I get really good lace front wigs now I'm loving this hairspray by the Janet collection you can pick this up, but if you can't find this because the cans are smaller, definitely get the Aussie Instant Freeze, which you will see me using in this video just to style my hair. But honey child, that hairspray is amazing to apply your lace front wigs as well. It'll give you a really great hold and it gets really tacky. So you can use it for both styling and profiling and wig applications. Now this one also dries quickly. We wanna put on at least two layers so that way it'll hold properly. Make sure that it's tacky prior to just putting your lace down onto it. I use the tail end of the comb and that'll help me press into my hairline with the comb and the lace. Now y'all see that lace? Look how nice it is. It's meltable. Honey, this is some good lace. And you just want to go ahead and do that for the front perimeter. If you don't want to allow it to air dry like I did, go ahead and get your blow dryer. Make sure you put it on like a cool temperature so that way you don't melt your skin off. And y'all know the routine. I'm going to just go ahead and make me some baby hairs and some bomb ass um, sideburn hairs too. Now this step is definitely optional because it's a clean hairline, it has film lace, so if you don't want to do this portion, you definitely don't have to, but I try to take away sometimes from the longevity of my head, meaning I have a longer head, so I'm trying to kind of like camouflage it the best that I can. And I'm also going to be using the Janet Collection Isha Luxury Styling Mousse. This stuff is great for taming your edges, giving yourself baby hairs, sideburn hairs. It does not lift your wig up when you have already applied it. And this works with, I've noticed, quite a few different hairsprays. 
No, I don't really do the middle parts as much, but the wig came with the middle part, so I decided to keep it. And look at this mousse, like it is bomb.com, girl. This is some really good mousse. I wish that it came in a bigger can. Unfortunately, it doesn't, but you can check Amazon. They do have it. Now I'm going to take my elastic band and just push that onto my, we'll put that on my hair hairline so that way the mousse can dry as I style this unit. The hair is very nice. It is yakky straight, 150% density, a full 13 by 6 deep parting lace front. So you get plenty of parting. I do honestly feel like it's more than 6 inches, but you know, hey, it is what it is. 20 inches, it seems a lot longer than that to me. I have the temperature on 450 on my curling wand, and I'm just gonna take that hairspray that I was just raving about, which is the Aussie Instant Freeze. I'm gonna spray a little bit prior to curling, and then I'm just going to use the heat from the curler to style this wig. And I'll see y'all in the aftermath. So tell me what I'm supposed to do just to be all right. Girl, you got me thinking. I was messed up, messed up, yeah. real cute okay look thank you our african hello the hair came out really cute i'm glad that i didn't have to do anything and even though it was like semi bleached the knots are not bad at all so if you don't know how to bleach the knot you don't know how to pre-pluck the hairline girl you good this is really a decent lace front for the most part the hair texture is really nice it's textured it is, you know, kinky straight or yakky straight. I can't remember, but I'll definitely link it below. It is very textured. I do like that about it. I do like the fact that it's already prepared for you, girl. So you don't have to do much. It's a nice length. The density is bomb. Girl, this is really cute. All I had to do was put my little touch on it, which is melt the lace. And, and you know, old school me went back to my old school roots, which is the Aussie Instant Freeze. I've been using this forever. And I'm so glad that I did because I just love that hairspray. It does really instantly freeze your hair. Girl, you can get that anywhere. I got three cans off of Amazon for like uh, $10. So, yes, girl. I'm not like the hugest fan of the removable black elastic bands. But if they're in the proper place and they feel comfortable, then I'm all for it. But normally I don't put them in my wigs. But this one came out really nice. I like the looseness of it. A little bit of heat, honey, goes a long way. And um, normally what you would want to do, though, is just, like, put some pins and keep it curled. But because of the hair texture, the curls aren't going to be so tight. But I didn't really want them so tight. I just wanted to give it a little bit of body. And this is giving me body vibes. This hairstyle, this hair, this wig is very giving. I'm loving the way all these wig companies are coming out with this really nice pre-plucked hairlines, meltable lace. Like, you taking all the work that I have to do out of my hands so you guys i will leave all of the information down below for wild african you already know make sure you check the links make sure you rate the um the video thumbs it up hit the like button okay hit that like any like share it with whomever subscribe you know it's all good make sure to leave me a comment and on that note i love you all stay safe stay blessed stay you know stay out of trouble keep out of the way girl do what you gotta do but as amazing as you all are have a blessed day, and I love you all, and I'll see y'all in the next one.